Hey guys, Max here. Today I'm going to be playing FNAF World again. Except this time I'm going to be playing FNAF World on the account I've already beat FNAF World on. Just so you guys get to see it. That never gets on. Okay. So, it's he's still there guys. He's still there. He won't leave. Okay, so I'm going to turn down my sound a little bit. So these are the guys I use. Crank Child, Funtime Foxy, Nightmare Fredbear, Nightmare, Endo 01, Endo 02, and Endo Plush, and Paper Pals, because they are really good. So let's get right into it. turn into a tutorial so right after you do what you need to do there is a owl boss you need to beat that's insanely hard and for some guys that don't know what to do I'll just do a quick tutorial so what you do is you when you get to Lily Girl Lake just do what I do you go going straight and you find crab apples just use endo army it doesn't matter what you use just kill him yay okay and then, like, this doesn't usually happen, like, I just to find battles. So, once you find the bubble, yeah, you go into the bubble. Yep, and there's Seagoon as usual. It's gonna get wrecked. And I have something that, if it does 50 or less damage, it negates all the damage. And I may need to turn down my game sounds because I'm telling this game is really loud. I'll turn it down now. So hopefully, if you guys were hearing the game really loud, that's better. Okay, let's go right into it. Once you go in the bubble, you're going to find this circus tent. You go through it, you keep doing this, and you'll eventually find a way to get to this button. You press it, and um, as usual, Fredbear will be here, and he will, um, he will be, he'll talk to you, and this isn't hard, hard mode, this is normal mode, so he'll talk to you, you go over here, like, yeah, everything's well, yeah, it's all, all okay, but he'll appear, like, up here a little bit, and then you'll find the brow boy, right up here, I'm guessing. Right over here, yeah. Brow boy. Once you beat Brow boy, <coughs> once you beat Brow, Brow boy, it's not take that long. Okay. So once you beat Brow boy, um, I'll show you how to do, but what to do right after. And he gives you a shit ton of XP so you can level up. And okay, you beat him, right? You go up here. It, like he says, you need to find a proper tent, and this is the one he's talking about. You just walk in it, and you'll go up here. And this is a maze. Like sometimes when you get teleported over here, like you'll get teleported through one of these tents eventually, or that tent over there. And what you need to do is you need to go through this block. It may seem sneaky, but then you go through there, and you'll find a bubble. And these guys are my worst nightmare. Because when they use escape key, it almost, almost every time it walks. Yeah, it didn't walk. Okay. So, once you do that, you're going to find the bubba. The boss. He's right there. He looks like a rat. But in here, yeah, he's pretty much a rat. So, you need to beat Bubba for this to work, okay? He may be hard, and yeah, he's pretty hard. But, you can beat him. It is possible. He's not too hard a boss to beat. He's pretty hard, though. Um... Like I said, I've completed this game before, so I know exactly what to do. So I'm almost done beating him. I might want to get the levels for this team, yeah. Okay, so 
All you have to do is beat Bubba, and then I'll show you what to do right after that. You, you'll go through this tonight. You'll get teleported over here. You may think you know what to do, but you need a morph through here. It may seem odd, because there's a different part you can morph through. It's actually extremely odd, because I don't understand that much why you morph through there and not the other spot. Because it'll tell you, teleport you to some place completely random if you go the wrong way. I'll show you what happens if you go. I actually will show you what happens if you go the wrong way. I know you'll just get let off track. So yeah, this, hopefully if not many more people come, this tutorial won't be too long. But I can continue with the video. Well, this is more of a tutorial than a video. Okay. My brother's playing Call of Duty, as usual. So, like, you can move through one of these. I know it. I know that. But you have to move through, move through over here. You'll, you'll technically be in... Well, you have to be pretty far into the game for this to For you to be the, some of these bosses. Because, like, as you can see, I have Endo 01 and... Nightmare Fred Bear and Nightmare and Funtime Pox. They are pretty hard to get. And what you do here is this part is so you'll find Golden Freddy up there. And once you get in the sock, okay, I'll show you what happens once this game's okay. It's not like that. But like this gets extremely confusing, okay? I'll tell you that. But if you just do what I do, everything will come out perfectly, perfectly fine, okay? See? But once you get over here, you need to move through that, okay? Then I lead you to over here, and then you, it took me about an hour to figure this part out, because I just kept going straight and nothing was working, so yeah. Yeah, my brother and I walked as hard as we could. Hey, hey, Finally, we figured out. Hey, you hardly did anything again. So, yeah, just do what I do and you'll end out correct. Okay. Then once you do this, like you just do what you do. Just do what I do and then run into there. As usual, the loading screen will pop up, and for some reason, it's sad anymore because I'm recording, obviously. Kind of trying, still sad. Like, guys, I'm missing a few characters. Hopefully, you can tell me in the comments where to find them. But I'm the one doing the tutorial. I don't know how I don't know how to find them. Okay. So, I'm missing Spring Trap, um, Spring Bonnie, and a couple more characters. Not that. Much. I'm also missing Fredbear, which he's on the screen, but I'm not sure if you can get him. Okay, so, once the screen's off, hurry up, kind of child. I know you're sad, but don't make me sad. Okay, so, once this is over, I'll show you. Once the slowly scene is over, freaking forever, and it's lagging, so guys, I'll be right back with the lag stops. Okay guys, the lag has stopped. I already finished the game, so I already got the key. There's a button you'll need to press, it'll unlock the wall. Uh, no, it won't unlock a wall, but it'll unlock it in Lilligar Lake for you. So, yeah. This is a tutorial, so I didn't just go through here and say, where well, the video is done. There's a key up above Pork Patch. And, once you get that key, you'll be... Once you beat him, you'll be able to get the key to, you, you saw that, the security owl guy. And he's still pretty hard to find when you beat, I may not beat him in this tutorial. But, I have beaten him before, so yeah. And this guy's easier than he was. Maybe because my guys are higher levels now. He doesn't do that much damage anymore, which makes me happy. Because otherwise, this wouldn't be possible. I really should get the guy that drains boss health. But who cares? Okay. And guys, you don't have to have this exact loadout what I have to complete. 
I highly suggest you have this and this, the meta, the mega pop, the mega med, and the fucking thing that negates damage. Cause without them, you won't do very well. So what you have to do is you have to fucking unlock the doors. Of course, they regenerated. But as you can see, once you get up here, the button will already be pressed. So, yeah, the button is already pressed, but of course you can have to fight a stronger Super Glow. Well, this one's called Sh Super Glow, not Sea Glow. He's strong, insanely stronger than Pulse Patch, so I highly suggest you get ready. There are, there are going to be a ton of battles. So, if you're hardly able to beat Pulse Patch, I highly suggest you train up before you go on any longer. This guy was pretty hard for me. I, I had to use a full team of nightmares for this. But this, no doubt, is better than a full team of nightmares. Trust me, guys. We don't want to keep this wall. So what you need to do here is... Of course, if you do have fun time angle, you could always use that to here. And why is that there? Why is that there? I am lagging. What's happening? I'm for something... Oh. I don't know what that was, but okay. Of course you do that, you have to go to the snow wall. The last one was hard for me to find, okay? So this guy called Snow Cone is really hard of a boss. So I suggest you get ready, equip who you want. Yeah, these are the guys I'm missing. Fredbear, Spring Bonnie, Nightmare. I mean, Shadow, Bonnie, and Switcher. I have everyone else. So, equip your strongest characters, and then go right into it. Like, guys, you may lose to them a couple of times, but still, you'll eventually win if you guys are high enough level. My guys are still leveling up. Um, because Nightmare was quite a low level. So yeah, okay, Snow Cone. He's insanely fucking strong. So you may want you may want to get ready. He may not be as strong as Super Goon, because I think he's intended to fight him then Super Goon. I'm not sure. But still, he's insanely strong. Most likely not as strong as Super Goon, but he's fucking strong. And he can do jump scare, which will fuck you up if you don't have like this. And this. I highly suggest you have those when you go in here. Okay, Neon Bond, you want to keep that up. Mega Bite. Mega Bite. And of course this will almost kill you, so that's why you need to have Happy Jam. So it'll kill you a shit ton, it'll do great. And you'll, by now you should be close to killing him. Because of your bites. You need to have strong bites when you fight this guy, obviously. Gift boxes. Yeah, I already have gift boxes. Okay, so guys, when this happens, you may lose character, but that's why you have to have Funtime Foxy. He can, or she can bring you back to life. I already pressed this button. You guys can press it. Like, I, it does not work for me because I pressed it. But there is another place. This. This is one of the last places you go to. Bear trap, get out my face. I'm doing no damage, so I am. Yeah, you're dead. I really want to find a new challenger, so for now I will equip this. Find characters, just to get boxes. So yeah guys, that was pretty much a tutorial on how to um, get the keys and you guys have probably seen the locks before. So once you go through those, fight the bosses, get the stuff, then you can continue and fight this hour guy. If you're in normal mode like me, it'll instantly end the game there. But if you leave, but if you exit out the game, then you're back in, he'll be back here and you can play again but i highly suggest you have high level teams for this and uh, like mine mine aren't that high level but they'll do so i'll smash that like button today don't break your screen i'll see you guys in the next